Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this invisibility cloak. Ta-da! Doesn't it look amazing? I mean, lack of look amazing. You can't even see me! So what you're going to need is some invisibility material and some invisibility thread. And I just picked those up at the material store. There's a really nice one next to the three broomsticks. So here it is. Amazing, right? I'm going to actually take out my thread that I've already got there and put in the invisibility thread. We're ready to sew. This is actually a really easy tutorial. It's very similar to my cloak that I made a long time ago, like one of my very first videos that I made. So basically, you're gonna need a hood and it's gonna need to be one that can go over the front too and not just coming up to the forehead right where it goes to here. So I'm gonna make the hood extra long and it's basically just a big square. So should we cut it out? So the cloak itself is a big, huge rectangle. You can make it up to two yards if you want it to be gathered and put a little bit more but I think one yard will probably do it and then we're just gonna cut out one rectangle for the hood Okay, time to stitch it together Okay, it's ready. Let's put it on and go be creepy and have some fun Ta -da! Oh, My hips are a little bit too big but woo! <laughs> Here's me riding a bike on grass. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> hey, get out of here! I even drove to the store to get supplies for my next Pins and Things video. <sighs> okay, as you can see, there are so many fun things that you can do with an invisibility cloak. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. Also, click over here if you want to see another Harry Potter video. And click over here if you want to see more of my everyday life on the beach house. And check out my evil twin sister's channel, Needles and Stuff, where she's showing you guys how to make caramel covered onions for April Fool's Day. All right, we will see you guys next time.